Uh, so we were talking about my YouTube journey and I started in February or March <clears throat> and I've loaded all these videos and so I've got 274 subscribers as of today and it's been sitting there for a while. I think I lost one person when my fitness series started um, but I'm not concerned about losing anybody because guess how I got most of these 274. Uh, I paid for them. So I ran some paid ads on a couple of my videos and got some really good um, viewership, I should say, or followers from it. But that was a bad idea. And it is against uh, what uh, other coaches had said is because you need to grow your audience organically. And by organically, that means you're posting valuable content. Somebody finds you in a YouTube or a Google search and then they start following you because of your content um, versus paying you your ads your videos show up just because you paid for it um, and those people will follow you but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the audience that you are intending uh, to view your videos and so i did do that because i got tired of the numbers sitting very low uh, i did get the most recent boost by sharing it on my facebook page i made a post that folks always want to know what can i get you for christmas what can i get you for your birthday and i don't want gifts because normally people are gonna buy you stuff that's just gonna junk up your house. So I said, if you ever wanted to get me anything, just go over to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe and watch a few videos back to back. Uh, so that's how I, ooh, here go a path. This path looks familiar, because this is where I was. Yeah, yeah, see I told you we didn't go far. Yeah, this is where we were, okay good to go so I asked people to follow me from my Facebook and I think I picked up about 50 people um, which is great or 20 people I can't remember we'll look and see but most of the folks did come from paid ads and so and then the rest were some of my Facebook people and I got a few organically and so I'm really trying to just work on the organic growth try not to look at analytics and get discouraged I do check them every day which is another thing they said you probably shouldn't do um, it's about like weight you shouldn't weigh yourself all the time and they said um, but I think you can do it as much as you want just as long as you don't let it get you down and deter you from your goals so with that being said I sure hope I'm registering all my steps Cause I'm holding this with my Fitbit hand. Let's see. Uh, so other than that, um, from an analytics standpoint, I'm really just trying to grow organically. And another thing that's very common on YouTube is borrowing what other people do. And so I'm actually borrowing this from a lady in Finland. She just did a video, she's over 40, and she did a video where she was just walking and talking in Finland. She's using her iPhone, and now she's monetized. She's running a consulting business, helping other women and people over 40 to create their YouTube channel. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and so this video was literally out of the blue. I showed up here at the park just to get some content for my five minute fitness series. And I said, you know what? They got some beautiful scenery out here. I can do the same thing that Alex did and see if I can get some organic uh, growth off of just me candidly talking as I am walking. So that is where this came from. Now, let me see. Do I wanna, I wanna head back that way because I think that goes to the parking lot. turn it around and that was the bathroom that I thought I was gonna go to but I didn't have to I'm trying to find some trail without being on a trail which might be a little difficult so yeah it's very common for you to be on YouTube see what somebody else has done see how great it turned out for them and then you borrow it and put your own spin on it so it's not stealing unless you copied it verbatim, which I have seen people copy people's thumbnails verbatim and just put their picture on it. Again, I don't think that's stealing. I think that is just uh, borrowing what is works and then putting your own spin on it. So whichever the case may be, that is the inspo for today's video. And it was impromptu. And that's another thing that I, as a new YouTuber, I think people think that you can just pull out your phone or pull out your camera, start recording, and this content stuff's gonna come to you. It does not happen that way. You'll find that you'll start rambling. Um, if you do not have any content strategy, bullet points, script, 
or some idea of where you're trying to head to. Uh, so for me, that's what this video is today. It was an impromptu, I'm at the park, um, needing just to get some short content for my five minute fitness. And then I said, hey, let's just see if we can repeat what Alex did and just talk about my journey. Um, I was on a boat ride this week uh, with a client and somebody asked me how business was going and of course I responded it's going very well and I mentioned how we had to up to upwards of 27 employees now uh, and then they asked me was I still enjoying it and I had to pause because I can't really say if I'm enjoying it or not because it's a lot of responsibility and if you haven't seen my sleepless in business video please go check it out to learn more uh, but it's become a lot of responsibility and whenever that is a lot of responsibility then you've got to determine is it really fun like you got a lot of people dependent on you or for their livelihood or as a vessel for their livelihood and you got clients high profile clients at that uh, that are counting on you and to perform and do well um and so i'm this youtube outlet is giving me something else to do something else to focus on to make something fun that doesn't feel like work um so i am grateful for my youtube journey just because of that now do i want to be monetized hell yeah uh, and one of the reasons is because I'm all about generating passive income, making money in my sleep. And one of the ways to do that is to get this channel monetized. And wouldn't it be so cool to be able to get monetized to do something that you're already doing um, every day, but you're just putting a camera in front of it to show other people. And I also love teaching people. Like that's when I'm in my element, when I am teaching people how to do things, when I am helping people to become them be their best self. Like, like the mentor conversation I had this morning, I mean, just showing her how to um, sort her email, trying to show her how to use Microsoft to do to help her become more organized, um, how to respond when you're on a call. I mean, those are the type of things where I'm just in my element. And then, you know, she was so grateful for it. She felt like she was going to be much better because of it. And it's just those type of things, knowing that I made a big difference in somebody's life from a work standpoint um, because now they feel more organized and they have the tools and the instruments that they need. So YouTube gives me the ability to be able to share that with not just the people that I work with every day, but for anybody who wants to subscribe to my channel. And I think I have walked, I do believe I've walked in just a big old circle. Cause I think I crossed this street a while ago this is the river birch shelter and i think this was the bathrooms that we saw that we thought we were gonna have to go to but we didn't um so i don't want to go over there that quick i'm gonna go back this way because i saw another path uh what time is it Oh, it's 146. Okay, we're good. Uh, so make sure we don't miss our meeting at three with the team. I must say, this is very fun walking and talking. Like, I'm really enjoying myself. It doesn't feel like I'm getting exercise. It just feels like I'm having a conversation at a scroll. Uh, so that was that part that I really enjoy doing. The other piece was I got this from another YouTuber who said, think about the community that you can build on YouTube. Like I'm from a small town, Hartsville, South Carolina, and born and raised there. And then I left for college in 1998, moved to Columbia, and I stayed in Columbia ever since school. So I've only lived in two places, Hartsville and Columbia. And so the only people that would necessarily be around me and get exposed to me would be the people that's in those two areas. And the only people that I've been exposed to are people in those two areas. And so YouTube gives me a way to connect with somebody like Alex all the way in Finland, like Jazz who's in Atlanta, Maya who's in Atlanta, um, all these people in other places that are able to share their experiences, share their journey, share what they're doing on a daily basis, sharing what they're purchasing for their homes, sharing what kind of makeup they're doing, all that kind of stuff, all because of YouTube. 
I mean, it's like it just can expand your community and your friend circle. And I just think that is so totally cool because where else can you get that from? And I always said when I was growing up, I remember having this thought. There are so many people in the world and we're not going to be able to see all of these people. We're not going to be able to meet these people. We're not going to be able to interact with these people. Who's missing or who's who could benefit from you sharing your story and who can benefit in another country or another state or even another city within your own state just because you got on YouTube and started to tell about your journey and to tell about your experiences and helping somebody else along the way so they didn't have to go through some of the pitfalls that you went through or maybe they went through they're in the pitfall now and they're trying to figure out how to get out and they just need somebody's testimony to help them out so I just think YouTube gives you a way to create that community, to create that friend base, because I'll be honest, some of these folks, when I'm watching their videos, it feels like I'm in their living room with them. It's like reality TV on steroids, and I totally enjoy it. Um, and so, Lord, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I, done, I done think I done walked. Oh, hell, this look familiar. But, uh, damn, let's go this way. If not, I can circle back to where I was. I know where the bathroom's at. Um, so anyways, YouTube gives you a way to build this community, share your experiences with others, and get to experience other people in other places and what they've gone through. Um, so I find it pretty cool. So that's another reason why I'm enjoying my YouTube journey is because of the community that I'm able to build and the communities that I'm able to be a part of. Lord, I hope no snake or no spider don't jump out because that ain't the type of footage that I'm looking for. But isn't it pretty out here? It's just such a good day to just be out in the park to get some sunlight and that is one of the things that being an entrepreneur affords me to be able to do. I can decide that today I don't want to be in my apartment or I don't want to be in an office or I don't want to be in a pharmacy I can just come to the park and walk and talk and just experience nature so I think that's pretty cool all right so um, I think that's pretty much a lot about my YouTube journey and why I started oh there's the river not that I remember this dang gummit river but it is pretty cool. Let's see. And yeah, I do this motion in case there's a spider web I can't see. But here's the, the river part. I'm really not going no further because your girl can't swim. Um, and also, I don't know what's in it, but now I don't remember passing this river. I remember passing parts of it, but not this one. Let's go on around and see what we got while we're back here. Oh, they even got a bench, but I bet the mosquitoes, it's horrible. All right, so um, that's just some tidbits on my YouTube journey, how I start. Uh, another thing I'll say is I'm actually going to create a video on this. Y'all do not need to buy all that equipment to start YouTube. Uh, now, I did because my company can use it um, for more than just YouTube, of course. Uh, so some of the stuff I brought through that, oh, this is so cool, it's like a little beach. Yeah, just washed up on the, this is so cute. This is so cute. I don't know what in that damn hole right there though. might be a good time to just talk about equipment um, because I bought a lot of things that I didn't necessarily need uh, including this DJI uh, Osmo Pocket 3 that I am recording on um, however yeah including this DJI Osmo Pocket 3 that I purchased that I didn't necessarily need but I think it was the coolest little thing ever um, and so one of the reasons I bought it is because it'll face track me so I can move around and it's just going to follow me and I don't have to worry about it. So it helps whenever I am doing uh, footage and vlogs by myself and catching shots. Uh, and also, 
it came with this nice what well, didn't come with this mic i had to buy this mic and so i can walk and be further away from you and you can still hear me because of the mic that i have on that's capturing my audio so it just makes things a little bit more flexible than having a phone a cell phone now do you absolutely need this absolutely not half this stuff i bought of course is not um, causing me to get monetized because I still only got 274 folks uh, but it makes it more fun to me and it gives me something else to learn and to do uh, and so now I'm not only learning how to edit but I am also learning how to do things on uh, different footage and cameras and different technology and stuff that's out that I would not have had access to otherwise. So that does bring us to the end of part two of Walking in Saluda Shoals. I hope it wasn't too fragmented, but just very authentic and real about me just walking and talking about my YouTube experience. And I'll have some more of these videos coming out that's more structured, but hopefully you can see all it takes is for you just to pick up your camera sometime and just start talking candidly and then getting it posted and seeing what people think. So if you like this content, stay tuned.